So my name is Brad Johnson. I'm a regional manager here at the University of Hertfordshire. And my role is to support international students looking to apply to study in the UK and ultimately have a great time while they're in the UK studying with, studying with us at the University of Hertfordshire. One of the great places to make friends at the university is in the halls of residence or student accommodation. So this presentation is all about accommodation at the University of Hertfordshire. Primarily we'll be focusing on our on-campus accommodation, but at the end of the presentation I'll also talk about a little bit about off-campus accommodation as well. So we like to say that Hearts is your home and our campuses across De Havilland and College Lane, which I'll come on to, are over 125 acres. It's a leafy green campus uh, with cutting edge facilities and the best bit is we are just 25 minutes from London on the train. So it means that you can enjoy London, work in London, explore the capital city of the United Kingdom, but also come back to a green open space campus with 24 seven security and 24 seven welfare support teams provided by our Dean of Students office. And it's all just five to three to five minutes from your lecture halls. So we've got two campuses at the University of Hertfordshire. One is the College Lane campus, and the other one is the De Havilland campus, which I'll come on to shortly. The College Lane campus is home to our life sciences, our creative arts courses, our engineering courses, our uh, physics courses, as well as our computer science courses. However, you do not need to live on the campus that you're studying on, but a lot of, cho a lot of students choose to do so. You can see at the back of the campus on this picture is where our accommodation is. Um, you can see that by the two AstroTurf co um, co courses there and pitches. Um, but you can see how close it is to the teaching facilities. The large green building um, in the top of the picture is our new science building. This building is a 50 million pound building that ho is home to our Life and Medical Sciences School. And the building just to the right of it that looks like a, a hangar is our library for College Lane. So you can see if you're living in our College Lane accommodation, you're really close to those teaching areas. In the centre of campus is where our engineering and computer science uh, programmes are taught. And just to the far left of the picture, um, just cut off by the photo, is where our creative arts courses are. So you can see we're a campus university and although we are a large campus university, we do have um, a big um, accommodation space. We've got a big leafy green campus, but it's still a really nice place to live. Our de Havilland campus is slightly smaller. Um, it's home to our business, humanities, law and education programmes. And we've got 1500 rooms on this campus, all of which are en suite. And um, we've also got on this campus our Hertfordshire Sports Village, which is a large uh, sports village with gym, free weights area, resistance weights, uh, multiple sports pitches, a 25 metre swimming pool, um, a cafe, as well as a rock climbing wall. So these rooms are all en suite and I'll talk a little bit about them later. And you can see how close they are to the campus area and teaching areas. Right in the top centre of this picture is our library and there's one on each campus, both of them open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the green patch that's in the middle of the um, picture at the moment, um, that's now a brand new building. We've not had new photography taken, but we've now got the enterprise hub there, which has got teaching spaces, a cafe, a bar, a restaurant, as well as loads of flexible spaces for you to study. So why live on campus? Living on campus is a great way to get the most out of your university experience. Um, we have over five and a half thousand students living on campus. We've invested a lot in our social spaces and actually they are a perfect place, especially for first years, to be close to our facilities, the amenities and to have the support. As well as that, there is the opportunity to get involved in social activities, many of which run throughout the year, organised by our Students' Union, as well as the Dean of Students' Office. And obviously the best bit, as I've mentioned and shown from the pictures, is that you're in walking distance from your lectures, your libraries, as well as all the social spaces, which means you'll save money on transport. 
Unlike city universities, where accommodation and teaching facilities are spread throughout the city, a campus university like the University of Hertfordshire is perfect because everything is in one central location. This will make your life a lot easier as you get used to studying in the UK. All of the uh, accommodation has laundry facilities, um, so you can do your washing, and there is a gym on both campus. So we've got the sports village, as I mentioned, on the Haviland, but also in the Oval, which is in the centre of our College Lane accommodation, there is a 24 hour gym. It's slightly smaller, but it still means you can access um, fitness facilities when you're on campus. So let's look at the types of room available. We've got many types of room available on campus and they're there to suit um, all of the budgets, um, depending on what your budget for study is, as well as your budget for life in the United Kingdom. So I'll talk about the de Havilland campus first. So all of the rooms on the de Havilland campus are the same. They're single rooms and they are just a couple of minutes from the teaching area. They each have their own ensuite bathroom. They have a desk as well as storage space. And they have a shared kitchen, which you can use to relax with your flatmates. So here's some pictures of the accommodation on the Havilland. You can see they're quite spacious rooms. Um, they've um, got a single bed in there. Um, that ensuite bathroom is right near the door of your accommodation and it's obviously got all of the main facilities in there. Um, there is under bed storage. Um, so if you think how large the bed is, you've got the same again under that for storage as well as shelves and um, drawers there for your, um, your things. Um, there is a fridge in the room, so it's a private fridge for you in the room, and you can see that just under the desk there. However, in de Havilland, the freezer is in the main kitchen. Um, an area that we have um, in the top right hand of this slide is our new uh, common room on de Havilland. It's located next to the shop, um, so both campuses have a shop that are available for students to use. Um, so this area has got relaxed areas for discussing with your friends, um, you can play pool, you can play games, uh, but it's also some areas to have some more relaxed study spaces as well if you don't want to go to the library. So in the room, you'll get a single bed with underbed storage, desks with drawers, a bookcase and a desk lamp, um, a desk chair, a pin board, a wardrobe, a Wi-Fi connection, as well as um, connected um, hardwired connection. You obviously get power sockets, you'll get a TV aerial socket so you can put your TV on your desk area and watch it from bed. You obviously get that mini fridge and obviously on all of the de Havilland rooms you get an ensuite with shower, toilet and sink. Moving on to our townhouse rooms. So these rooms are on our College Lane campus and as part of our new development. Each block has, um, a, it's a self-contained house. Um, it's over four stories, um, so the whole of the ground floor is a uh, social space with a kitchen and lounge area. Um, the next floors up, there is four bedrooms and two bathrooms on each floor. Um, and so that means you will be sharing with one person um, in your bathroom area, but it's located just outside the bedroom. So you can literally come out of your room and go into those bedrooms. So this is great because all of our townhouses are social spaces on the ground floor which means um, you've got that massive space there to relax with your friends. So here's some pictures of a townhouse room. Um, you can see it's really modern, really clean. You've got the nice bed space. You've got a large kitchen. Um, so in College Lane, um, the fridges and freezers are in the kitchen area. So you don't have a fridge in your own room. You can see it's a really modern ensuite area there and you get a four foot bed. So in these rooms, you get a four foot bed with underneath storage. So you can see there's plenty of room for your things there under the bed area. You get a bedside cabinet and storage shelf. You'll get a desk with drawers, bookcase and a desk lamp, just like the Haviland. Again, you'll get a desk chair. You'll get a pin board again to help you with your studies. You do get a wardrobe and it's quite a spacious wardrobe. Um, like all of our accommodation, you will have Wi-Fi on campus. You have loads of power sockets. Um, again, you'll have a TV aerial socket and the, but the bathroom in this occasion is shared between two students of the same gender. So um, you'll only share um, your bathroom if you're a male, you'll be sharing it with another male. And obviously if you're female, you'll be sharing it with another female. And when we allocate the rooms, we make sure that that's done for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So a studio room is probably our most expensive room on campus, but it does come with some benefits. 
The benefit is you get your own private space in a studio room. It's the highest spec on offer on campus and each of our studio rooms have a private kitchenette so you'll never have to share a fridge, you'll never have to share a freezer and you will get your own kitchen area so that's completely yours and no one else can use it. So it means if you've got a little bit more money to spend on accommodation, you do get the benefit of your own private space. You can also see you get your own private uh, dining table. Um, so you can see from these pictures, you get a four foot bed, again, with that underneath bed storage there for you as well. Um, you will get that um, bedside cabinet again with storage space. Um, again, like the other flats, you will get that desk area with the, um, the seat. You do get two wardrobes in a studio flat. It's en suite, obviously, um, with a shower, toilet and sink, just like uh, some of the other properties we'll talk about later on today. You get a fridge freezer as well as a microwave oven. You get two hobs on top and a sink set into your work top as well and plenty of cupboard space. As you can see there, there's loads of cupboard space for your food. And then you also get an eating area um, with two chairs. So it means if you want to have a friend over for dinner, um, you, you can, you've got that space to have there. And obviously if you wheeled over your desk chair as well, you could sit three people around your uh, dining table. These, if you've got a bit more money to spend, these are a great option uh, to have that own space and they're a great place if you want to really focus on your studies, you can use the studio areas. So now we've got a standard ensuite. Again, this is on our College Lane campus. So these are um, about the same size as a um, townhouse room, uh, but the only, the, obviously the benefit is you then get your ensuite bathroom so you're not sharing with anyone. So again, just like the townhouses, you are sharing a kitchen. Um, these are not on the ground floor all the time. So our standard flats can be on um, anything from the ground to the seventh or eighth floor in some of our blocks. Um, but it means you share approximately between eight and 12 people, uh, depending on the size of the flat. So I'll show you inside the room now. So you get that um, kitchen area again, which is really nice. Um, and that always comes with a sofa, um, a TV on the wall, plenty of seats for you and your flatmates and plenty of cooking area. Again, that's a shared um, fridge and freezer in the kitchen, not in your bedroom. Um, you get a single bed, again, with that underneath storage. You'll get that uh, desk again. So you've got plenty of space to work and you can see from these pictures how many plug sockets there are. So if you want to set up two monitors or have a television or maybe a radio, you've got plenty of space um, to fill that desk there. Again, you'll get the wardrobe again, um, and obviously, but in these rooms, you don't have a dining table in your bedroom because that's in the shared facilities in the main part of the accommodation. So looking at a slightly more expensive ensuite option is our enhanced rooms on College Lane. So these are essentially the same as an ensuite standard. Um, however, you just have a little bit more room. So you have a four foot bed instead of a single bed. Again, that has underneath storage for you and you get a little bit extra floor space. So if you've got a little bit more uh, budget for study um, in the UK and you want to have a bit more of a nicer room in your accommodation, um, you can go for this one. Um, there is a little bench seat in the room as well because you've got that extra space as well, as well as all the other um, facilities that I've mentioned before. Again, these have a large shared kitchen space to entertain your friends with a TV area, kitchen, dining table, um, all uh, modern decorated. So you can see the same similar pictures in the kitchen setup and the bathroom setup, but you can see just a slightly larger bed area and you can see that bench seat there next to your wardrobe with some coat hooks to um, hang your clothes on um, and you get that slightly extended desk there as well. So if you like to spread your studies out and have uh, lots of space on your desk, obviously you've got that space in the enhanced bedroom. So moving over to part of our accommodation that's part of our older accommodation block and it's called Telford Court. This is a more affordable option on College Lane um, and it provides a slightly cheaper way of living but it do, does mean you have to share with more students. So each flat in a block is shared between six students and there are shared bathroom and kitchen facilities as well. So there's normally between two and three shower and toilets in between those six students, and you will be mixed between different genders unless you specifically um, request that you would like to be in an all male or all female flat. 
Um, the kitchen is shared between all six residents as well. Um, but because you're obviously sharing a bathroom with more people and you're sharing a kitchen with more people, um, you obviously are paying a slightly cheaper price. So you can see inside, it's still really well decorated, plenty of space. Um, you've got that uh, four foot bed, just like the enhanced room. Um, you get a bedside cabinet again with storage area. Um, the bed has less storage space underneath in the Telford Court areas, but across the room there is a lot of storage for students. You can see you get that mirror, um, you get an Ottoman unit with seating and storage drawers, um, you get a desk chair as well as a relaxed chair as well, and you also get a wash basin in your room. So um, you don't get an ensuite in these, but you will have a wash basin in the room with a sink, light and mirror as well. So if you want to brush your teeth in your own room, um, but not use the communal, obviously you can do that. Um, but obviously the shower and toilet facilities will be in the main um, central area. And you can see in the kitchen in the top left there, you can see there's plenty of storage space, bins as well, uh, seating for enough people. And again, those shared fridge freezers in the main kitchen area. And normally the kitchens and the bathrooms are in the centre of the flat with three on the right hand side and three on the left hand side. And the final option that we have on campus in our newer accommodation, um, this is the cheapest, however it does mean you are sharing a bedroom with someone else. So all of our other rooms so far, you may be sharing bathrooms and you are sharing kitchens in times, but in this occasion you are sharing a bathroom and a bedroom with a person. Um, it's typical experience that you would find in an American university accommodation environment. So in each room there are two single beds with under, uh, with under bed storage again. So you can see those two beds there. Um, there are two bedside cabinets and storage areas for you. There are two desks, um, so it does mean you can um, work separately. Um, there are two wardrobes as well. Um, you also get Wi-Fi as you do across the whole campus, two pin boards. So you can see that although you are sharing a room, there is plenty of space across the room, um, but it is just that one bathroom as well. Um, so just if you are looking to have a more cheaper option for your accommodation, obviously this is an option, but just be aware that you may be sharing with someone you've not met before, and that is something you want to consider. And um, we have a limited amount of twin rooms on campus. So we have about 100 twin rooms. So if you would like a twin room, and you are applying for accommodation, make sure you put that as your first choice um, because we want to make sure we allocate them to the right people. So there's 24,000 students living at the University of Hertfordshire and 5,500 of those live on campus with us. This is an aerial shot of the Oval. So I mentioned earlier, there's that 24 hour gym of the College Lane on the College Lane campus. So this is the Oval and you can see loads of green space there. And this was a drone shot we took um, from one of our events on campus. So how do you apply for a room um, whilst at the University of Hertfordshire? So it's really easy. Um, you go onto our website, um, you go um, to the accommodation section, which is in the student life area, um, and you click accommodation, and it will bring you up a, um, a website which um, shows you this. Um, it has a price guide on there, which I'll go through uh, shortly, um, but it also has all of the rooms with a little bit more detail that I've gone through today. Um, you will have two buttons here. There is the important information, which will tell you things about the contract length and the rules of living on um, campus. And then you also have the apply for accommodation button. So how accommodation works here is you cannot apply for accommodation until you have been made an offer holder of the University of Hertfordshire. Our accommodation team will then notify applicants when the accommodation portal is open, um, and that's usually via email. So the accommodation portal isn't open all year round, um, so we normally open it about six months before the start of the intake, and you can then go and book um, which accommodation you want. So you are at that point stating a preference. When you are made unconditional um, and you have um, been issued with your CAS, you can then confirm your accommodation which is where you pay your deposit and you get allocated a room. It's really important to stress that you secure your accommodation before traveling to the United Kingdom. Sometimes students will turn up on campus and have not secured a room yet. We are 
always full in our accommodation. So if you would like to live on campus, we suggest you make your application as soon as possible. And then as soon as you receive your CAS, or um, if you do not require a tier four visa, um, and soon as you become unconditional with the university and um, uh, places as your first choice, you book your accommodation through paying the deposit. We can't guarantee there will be rooms for you if you arrive on campus without accommodation. So please, um, after your flight, what you want to do is get into a room. And the only way you'll be able to do that is if you secure your accommodation before traveling to the UK. So these are the rooms that I've just talked about, and they're on that web page too, uh, just below that section I've just showed you. So you've got the room on de Havilland, the townhouse, the studio, the standard ensuite, the enhanced room, the single um, in Telford Court, and that twin room as well, as well as some useful information about living on campus, and also some useful information about living off campus. So our students often will choose to live off campus in the local area. We do advise that no one lives more than a 30 minute journey away from campus, um, just because it's a long commute for you and we'd like you to focus on your studies. However, if you do choose to live off campus, we'd advise you um, live around the network, which is the university's bus network. So the university owns a bus company called University Bus or Uno Bus. Um, so there is that bus network and there is also a Reva in the UK uh, near in the Hertfordshire area. So we'd advise you live on one of these major bus routes because it will make your commute to university a lot easier. Obviously, if you choose to live in London, um, the direct train goes into Finsbury Park and King's Cross Station. And that's something to consider because that's already a 25 minute journey plus the walk to campus. Um, if you then have to get a tube as well as that, you may be looking at like an hour's commute to university, which um, each way, which can obviously be um, long for your day and um, might disrupt your studies. So we really would encourage you, if you're going to live in London, live on the train line that commutes into um, Hertfordshire and Hatfield. And if you're going to live in Hertfordshire, make sure you're on the bus route um, so you can get to campus easily. So let's look at some of the pricing um, for the accommodation on campus. Um, you can see um, there are two sets of prices on here. We need to be looking at the one on the right hand side um, because that is the 2021 intake. And um, the reason we've got the one there is just because we just had our January intake as well. Uh, but on the right hand side is the 2020-21 costs. Um, you can see they vary um, from um, the cheapest room, which is £99.68 a week, all the way to the most expensive, which is £209.79. Um, there are two prices, and that's because um, students um, can either have a 42-week contract or a 50-week contract. Um, the 50-week 50 50 contract does bring the price down slightly. Um, however, you obviously are paying more in total because you'll have the room for nearly a full um, year. Um, obviously, if you've got more uh, budget and you want that free space, you can use that studio flat. Obviously, it is more expensive. However, if you've got a more conservative budget and you don't mind sharing with people, you've obviously got the single in Telford Court as well as the twin room there. Um, and that's that price is per occupant. So the 99.68 or the 194 price is per occupant. Um, so that's why it's slightly cheaper. So the campus is a great place um, to meet people. We've got students from over 100 countries um, living at the university. So it's a great place um, if you're coming from overseas, um, you'll get to meet obviously all of our British students who study with us at Hertfordshire, but you can also meet students from so many more countries. And actually um, during your studies and during your time with us on campus, you'll actually develop a really strong international network. So it means after your studies, you'll have friends all around the world. Um, you should never need to pay for a hotel. You should always have a friend in a major city. Um, and it's a great place to expand your network, which couldn't help you in your um, commercial life after, because hopefully they will turn into business contacts as well. So students who choose to live off campus, so we give some advice to students who live off campus. In Hertfordshire, there is a scheme called PAL, um, and it's the accreditation for landlords and agents. So there is a lot of private rented accommodation in the local area. So as an international student, you may have to have a UK-based guarantor or pay a significant amount of rent upfront. 
Um, on campus, we're more flexible with that. However, if you are in private accommodation, you may have to pay six month rent in advance. So what students tend to do, and they tend to do this in their second or third year, they will rent a local property with a group of friends or live with a local family. And these are all easily accessible to campus if you live in Hatfield. So there's plenty of student accommodation. Um, obviously the rest of our students obviously live in the local area, um, but obviously make sure you find a property that suits your budget. And remember um, the prices on campus include utility bills but often the prices in the local area, the private rented accommodation doesn't include utility bills. So make sure you choose a PAL accredited landlord and agent, um, which means they have been uh, checked to uh, make sure they operate within a professional standard and you are living close to campus and you are picking something within your budget. 